welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the most popular, important, and or notable figures in history, regardless of reputation. He really had no choice but either to withdraw that force or reinforce it and have a full-scale war. Number 30, Joan of Arc. If you do not go now, you will be buried in this field. I've seen enough blood. Born in 1412, Joan of Arc was a pivotal figure in France's history, and now as an icon in the Catholic faith as well. During the Hundred Years' War, she provided what she believed was guidance from God to strategically assist France in defeating England, particularly in the crucial Siege of Orleans. Put yourself in my shoes for a moment. How would you feel if you were me? Knowing what I know? Enormous gratitude. Her independence, resilience, and faith in the face of adversity are recognized to this day. She was canonized as a saint and is viewed as a feminist icon for her military prowess and refusal to conform to the gender norms of her time. Number 29, Amelia Earhart. Well, it was very interesting to me to fly a southern climate rather than in the north. Despite her mysterious disappearance, Earhart is remembered and honored for her record-breaking solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean in 1932. Being the first woman to accomplish the feat, she paved the way for future aviators both through her achievements in the field as well as her outspoken support for equal rights. People are saying that you're reckless. A better celebrity than pilot. Enthusiastic, yes. Reckless, not on your life. Her legacy will always provoke discussion as to what truly happened to her, which has kept her name in the public consciousness long after her presumed death. She has a slew of memorial sites dedicated to her across the United States. There's even a crater on the moon named after her. Earhart, this is Itasca. Did you receive transmission? Number 28, Julius Caesar. I think that Caesar, in many ways, was very idealistic. He really wants to bring about change to Rome, to lift up the poor people. Among the most famous Roman politicians, Julius Caesar climbed to power as a member of the First Triumvirate. The trio didn't last long as the alliance broke down, leading to a civil war. Caesar later crossed the Rubicon, defeated his opponents, and took over as dictator. Caesar is an extremely charismatic politician. He's attractive. He's witty. In fact, one could say that he has all the talents. Characterized by his bold political moves, he was also known for his military victories, writings, and the Julian calendar. His assassination on the Ides of March changed the history of Rome, leading to the beginning of an empire. Further immortalized by the likes of Shakespeare, his life and death have become key moments in the history of Western civilization. It too brutally, then fall Caesar. Number 27, Jane Austen. English author Jane Austen is responsible for writing novels that are read, studied, and adapted to this day. Pride and Prejudice, Emma, and Sense and Sensibility, to name a few. Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings which, as you've told me, have hindered your regard will help you in overcoming it. Her work has been lauded for both capturing and commentating on the lifestyle and customs of Georgian-era England. Not to mention, her female-led stories are recognized as having paved the way for later feminist literature. It was an union that must have been to the advantage of both. By her ease and liveliness, his mind might have been softened, his manners improved. Despite being written hundreds of years ago, the timeless themes of Austen's tales continue to resonate with modern audiences, and we presume that they will be classics for eras to come. You would quit the Abbey. Yes. Sacrifice your independence. Yeah. Live constantly with my father in my house of hearing. Yeah. Number 26, Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo is an Italian Renaissance painter but his genius is universal and it's, it speaks to everybody. When you talk about figures from the Renaissance, Leonardo da Vinci inevitably comes up as one of the most gifted men of the era. His status as a multifaceted artist arguably defines the term Renaissance man. Da Vinci's scientific explorations come with major innovations and inventions in all kinds of subjects. This idea of 
visualizing things, being able to draw it out and then talk about the phenomena, that's in all of these notebooks. Everything from observations about human anatomy to early designs for a primitive helicopter can be attributed to him. There's also his world-class painting that includes priceless artworks such as Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. It would probably be easier to list the things he didn't accomplish in his lifetime. We have very few records in the whole history of science similar to Leonardo's manuscripts. These are not books. You cannot compare that to a work of by Galileo or by Newton. Number 25, Winston Churchill. For better or worse, Winston Churchill might be among the most British men who ever lived. His role as prime minister provided vital leadership for the United Kingdom during World War II. Known as a great politician and speaker, Churchill's influence altered the course of the British Empire. If this long island story of ours is to end at last, then let it end only when each one of us lies choking in his own blood upon the ground. Helping to promote morale and patriotism, the leader is considered to have helped the UK endure the hardships of the war. Not beloved by everyone, the important man garnered a complex reputation among the international community. Some view him as a heroic character, while others see him as another British colonialist. Here we are with Churchill with, on the phone. With, with Churchill, he's on the phone to Roosevelt. This is the this is the room in which he had the top secret direct line to the White House. Number 24, Florence Nightingale. My parents did not want me to become a nurse, so I decided to study nursing in secret. Nightingale's work in the field of nursing is nothing short of trailblazing. During the Crimean War, she worked to implement revolutionary hygiene and sanitation practices, as well as keeping detailed records of the improvements made that would help shape future hospitals. She was given the nickname the Lady with the Lamp, as she would often make her rounds with a literal light in her hand, and figuratively light up the spirits of her patients with her kindness and care. Nightingale's commitment to nursing and public health has left a far-reaching legacy that continues to leave a significant impact today. The conditions in the hospital greatly improved, and the doctors started to realize how valuable nursing was. Number 23, Elizabeth I of England. I am the queen! You are not my equal, sir, and you never will be. Though Queen Elizabeth II was the Commonwealth's longest reigning monarch, Queen Elizabeth I's influence over Britain and the world at large cannot be overstated. Countless achievements and significant world events are credited to Elizabeth. The defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588, the settling of tensions between Protestants and Catholics, and the rise of the merchant class among many other examples. This armada that sails against us carries in its bowels the Inquisition. God forbid it succeeds. Also, as a patron of writers such as William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe, her reign contributed to great cultural growth with far-reaching impact. As a leader and a decision maker, Elizabeth I was truly a pillar of influence. I am married to England. Number 22, Charles Darwin. Nature does not revolve around man. Man must fall into nature's cauldron. He's no deity, no exception. Few scientists have lit the world on fire quite like Charles Darwin. The biologist traveled around the world on the beagles studying animals, developing the theory of evolution after famous trips to areas such as the Galapagos. According to his research, natural selection changes the trajectory of a species in considerable ways. He started to prepare a masterwork where every possible criticism could be anticipated and every assertion backed up by evidence. He published his findings in the groundbreaking On the Origin of Species and changed the scientific world forever. Controversial for some audiences, Darwin's theories angered some people who came to be known as creationists. His work in evolutionary biology gave birth to a greater understanding of nature itself. Oh, you believe that selection is the only possible creative law. Pure chance, the roll of the dice. In fact, new species are created by natural birth according to God's law. Number 21, Christopher Columbus. Columbus, to his dying day, believed that the discoveries that he had found in what we now call America were, in fact, somewhere in the Far East. 
Queen Isabella I and King Ferdinand II sponsored the voyage of this Italian explorer, sending him on a trip that would change the world. Christopher Columbus landed in the Caribbean and set off a chain reaction of exploration. Bringing Spanish influence to the Americas, the traveler attempted to find a route to the East Indies and instead discovered something else. Thank God. Thank St. Elmo. Thank all the angels and the saints. A modern perspective puts Columbus in a different and much more complicated light. While he did transform Western civilization, the man also brought disease, exploitation, and slavery to the indigenous populations of America. His lasting impact is simultaneously important and difficult to grapple with in light of his darker side. Number 20, Rosa Parks. So you did not get up? No, I didn't. Do you didn't. know why? Yes. Because Why? I didn't think I should have to get up. She silenced a nation with a legendary refusal. And now, every American grows up learning her name. In the heat of the United States Civil Rights Movement, Parks found herself on a crowded bus and in a seat desired by white passengers. But when the driver insisted that Parks move, she firmly declined. I'm already on. Besides, it's raining. I don't care if the sky is falling. Here. Her arrest was the last of several incidents that led to the Montgomery bus boycott, which eventually forced the Supreme Court to rule bus segregation laws unconstitutional. Despite resulting personal hardships, Parks continued work as an activist for African American equality and helped establish scholarships and educational institutions. Today, she is an indisputable icon of justice and bravery. She reminds us that even the smallest acts can sometimes achieve the greatest progress. We have made uh, many improvements from way back there when we had legally enforced racial segregation, but we still have many challenges to face. Number 19, Anne Frank. Her story might have been the first historical play that you read in grade school, but its significance goes much further. I feel I have a sweet secret, and I long for the time when I shall feel that secret within me again. She and her family were among millions of Jewish Germans who went into hiding from Adolf Hitler's Nazi regime. She cataloged her time in a personal journal that has since become one of the most renowned books in history. The diary's commentary on Frank's family, career aspirations, and internal struggles were deeply nuanced and touched those who read them. I see the world being slowly transformed into a wilderness. I hear the approaching thunder that one day will destroy us too. As such, the document has inspired movies, plays, museums, charities, and more. While she herself tragically did not survive, her writing prevails as one of the most universally recognized reminders of the horrors created by the Holocaust and the real people who were lost to it. I can shake off everything if I write, but, and that is the great question, Will I ever be able to write well? Number 18, William Shakespeare. Few writers from the 16th and 17th centuries are as well remembered as William Shakespeare. By malign fate, the message goes astray, which would tell Romeo of the friar's plan. He hears only that Juliet is dead. The Bard of Avon is arguably the most famous playwright that ever lived, with an extensive catalog of plays and sonnets. Many of the world's finest actors have tested their abilities on stage and screen in Shakespearean productions. If you didn't have to read his writing in school, you've definitely seen a film or TV show based on one of his stories. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. How? He is without a doubt one of the most adapted and celebrated authors in human history. Still representing a high watermark for the English language, Shakespeare continues to have a hold on popular culture. There was no doubt that Shakespeare was the best at writing plays, but there was enough doubt that he had to start his own theatre company to put them on. Number 17, Mother Teresa. Um, government of India has received the people with great dignity and with great love for the people. I've never met, seen that before. Agneza Gonja Boyajiu took the name Mother Teresa to honor the patron saint of missionaries. And 
the title foreshadowed the remarkable life she led. She swore solemn religious vows young, offering the majority of her life in service to the poor and in educating those most in need of miracles. She created the Missionaries of Charity Congregation, which continues to provide humanitarian aid for refugees, victims of disease, orphans, and many others across multiple continents. Even when receiving the Nobel Peace Prize for her lifelong efforts, she insisted that the money for the ceremony be donated. Her selfless legacy has inspired countless others to continue her philosophy of kindness and altruism. It's no wonder that her name has become colloquial shorthand for moral generosity. They're content because they get so love. It depends on ourselves how we help them to accept suffering as, as they give. Number 16, Mahatma Gandhi. From a lawyer to a renowned symbol of peace, the story of Mahatma Gandhi is one of national struggle, triumph, and tragedy. To gain independence, we must prove worthy of it. There must be Hindu, Muslim, unity, always. He played an integral part in the Indian independence movement in the 1930s and 1940s. Synonymous with his country of origin, the activist defined the best of both India and humanity. His choice of non-violent resistance was seen as an admirable change from previous revolts. Inspiring the likes of Martin Luther King Jr., this leader showed the world that peace can be achieved without taking up arms. His assassination in 1948 marked the end of an extraordinary life of world-changing activism. Number 15, Vladimir Lenin. Few countries have gone through more changes in the 20th century than Russia. One of the men responsible for altering the nation's history was Vladimir Lenin. He played a key role in the October Revolution, led the Bolsheviks, and helped to create Soviet Russia. Taking inspiration from radical thinker Karl Marx, Lenin worked to install communism on a national level. The revolutionaries' pro-communist forces fought off the White Army in the Russian Civil War, maintaining power and subsequently creating the USSR. His administration also started a wave of political violence known as the Red Terror. After facing serious health problems, the leader died in 1924 and was later succeeded by controversial figures like Joseph Stalin. Number 14, Nikola Tesla. Way ahead of his time, Nikola Tesla worked tirelessly to understand the potential for electrical power. I now have the pleasure of introducing you to a novel system of electrical transformation and distribution of energy by means of alternate currents. His most important work surrounds his innovations with alternating current. With many inventions to his name, the engineer even worked for Thomas Edison before venturing out on his own. I was thrilled to the marrow meeting Edison. This great man had revolutionized the world with his incandescent lamp. Businessman George Westinghouse grew interested in Tesla's AC current ideas, starting a rivalry between the pair and Edison. Beyond inspiring Elon Musk's company name, this scientist also pursued key research into wireless technology. The Tesla coil and a variation of the induction motor are just two works attributed to his boundless genius. He was synchronizing electricity in the sky and the earth with current surging through his magnifying transmitter, aka a Tesla coil. Number 13, Mao Zedong. After the fall of Imperial China, a series of conflicts opened the door for revolutionary Mao Zedong. His political leanings inspired the founding of the Chinese Communist Party. When the Nationalist Party fought the CCP, the resulting civil war ended in the latter side winning in 1949. Zedong then created the People's Republic of China and became the most dominant figure in Chinese politics. For decades, the leader presided over reforms that revolutionized the country's economic output and created the Great Chinese Famine. Through the Cultural Revolution, the chairman both became feared and hugely powerful. He's largely seen as being responsible for countless deaths due to his legislation and politically motivated violence. Number 12, Cleopatra. She's a household name whenever the topic of Egyptian leaders comes up at dinner time. Cleopatra assumed the throne of Ptolemy XII at an astonishingly young age, facing the chaotic civil turmoil and political unrest that came with it. While her complicated relationships with Mark Antony and Julius Caesar have been heavily dramatized, they were also unmistakably tactical. On your knees. You dare ask the proconsul of the Roman Empire? I asked it of Julius Caesar. I demand it of you! 
These and other relations with the Roman Empire helped keep Egypt a sovereign nation and secured its bookmark in today's encyclopedias. She shaped her kingdom's economics, religion, artistic movements, and body of laws. Her depictions in both ancient artwork and modern pop culture are equally famous, and her status as a historical heroine has hardly diminished, even centuries after her reign. She threatened Rome, and Romans were afraid of her. She thought she could conquer the world. Number 11. Alexander the Great Alexander immediately faces the greatest challenge of his young life, proving to the citizens of Macedonia that he deserves to be king. After assuming the throne of Macedon, Alexander the Great didn't let his age hold him back. His military genius allowed him to conquer large portions of Asia. His intelligence might also have been partly due to his being taught by the great Aristotle, the latter of whom was a student of the Greek philosopher Plato. When they compete to bring out the good, the best in each other, this is the love between men that can build a city-state and lift us from our frog pond. The king didn't just leave behind an extensive empire either. In the period after his death, the ruler's cultural footprint resulted in the Hellenistic Age. From Macedonia to modern-day India, Alexander brought European influence to areas much farther than the Mediterranean. There is no doubt among Alexander's officers that no single human being could ever take his place. Number 10. Thomas Edison Many of the most important inventions of the 20th century can be credited to Thomas Edison. With his modern take on the electric light bulb, the inventor helped to provide a life-changing innovation to American homes. He and his research team have taken credit for several milestones in entertainment. This includes the phonograph, revolutionizing the way people consume all kinds of sound recordings. Imagine dictation without the aid of a stenographer. Photographic books that will speak to blind people, reproduction of music, talking toys. There's also the motion picture camera, which, along with the legendary Black Maria Studios, provided a new way to capture fiction and nonfiction. Edison's name has become an integral part of an age that industrialized and connected the world. Number 9. Abraham Lincoln We must not be enemies, though passion may have strained. It must not break our bonds of affection. The 16th president of the United States ranks among the most important in the nation's history. Next to the likes of the first president, George Washington, Abraham Lincoln is often considered among the most favored in American history. He became the president right as the bitter argument over slavery ignited the Civil War. His work in restoring the Union during the conflict saved the nation, preserving the power of the U.S. government during a devastating war. Slavery, sir. It's done. In his greatest moments as the commander-in-chief, his abolitionist policies and subsequent influence on the 13th Amendment ended slavery in America. His political ingenuity, moral character, and iconic speeches still receive praise to this day. I suppose it's time to go, though I would rather stay. Number 8. Adolf Hitler Das deutsche Volk ist glücklich in dem Bewusstsein, dass die ewige Flucht der Erscheinungen nunmehr endgültig abgelöst wurde von einem ruhenden Pol. As an infamous and world-changing figure of the 20th century, Adolf Hitler is undeniably evil. His rise to power in post-World War I Germany turned the nation into a fascist state. Using anti-Semitic rhetoric, Hitler became a dictator and plunged the country into war. As the German chancellor, the corrupt leader fought for control of Europe in World War II. He and his Nazi collaborators engineered the Holocaust, systematically killing millions of Jews and others deemed undesirable. After trying to normalize far-right and racist ideas, the politician died as one of the most loathed people in modern history. Ich werde niemals kapitulieren, niemals. Ich untersage ihn. Wie jedem anderen Truppen führen, die Kapitulation. Number 7. Marie Curie Day after day, working in a cramped, unheated storeroom, Marie painstakingly carried out her measurements. She was the first female Nobel Prize winner, and she remains its only recipient for scientific work in two different fields. You might know Marie Curie for her famous discovery of radium, but you might not think about all of the world-shaping developments that her research led to. Do you remember the day you said to me, I would like radium to be a beautiful color. Radium had something better than a beautiful color. It was spontaneously luminous. X-rays, 
pivotal atomic research and life-saving cancer treatments all owe their success to Curie's earlier work. She persevered in spite of scandals, xenophobia, sexism, and the long-term illness that eventually claimed her life. She stands as one of the most important trailblazers in the history of chemistry and physics, and multiple universities, scholarships, and awards have been named for her. She's even got her own synthetic chemical element. There's so much to celebrate. I hope you're right. Number 6. Martin Luther King Jr. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi! Yeah. From every mountainside. As one of the faces of the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King Jr. ranks among the greatest Americans ever. Helping to organize the Montgomery bus boycott, King instigated a much-needed change to segregationist policies in America. At the famed March on Washington, his I Have a Dream speech became among the most famous of the 20th century. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. His activities also ensured that legislation such as the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was passed in the United States. While he was assassinated in 1968, his ministry has lived on through his timeless words and actions. He also received a Nobel Peace Prize and later a federal holiday in his honor, adding to his lasting impact on the U.S. and the world. The courts don't want us to march, but we must march. We must stand up. We must make a massive demonstration of our moral certainty. Number five, Isaac Newton. He invents calculus makes huge discoveries about the nature of light, and the fateful apple supposedly falls, sparking his theory of gravity. For a scientist from the 17th century, Isaac Newton had a lot of incredible insights into everyday life. His discoveries in the field of physics are legendary by any measure. Without him, we would still have gravity, but we might not understand it as well. Whether or not Newton was really hit by a falling apple, he famously developed gravitational theories among many other key observations. He was quite suspicious, paranoid, cruel, sadistic, but then he had this enormous capacity to hyperfocus, enormous capacity to ask fundamental questions. His laws of motion are still cited in science, helping people work out the essential aspects of the universe. The book Principia encapsulates some of his most important findings and still ranks as as a pivotal scientific text. He writes reams of material that no one else sees. Uh, this is knowledge that he's developing for himself. Number four, Gotama Buddha. In the sixth century BCE, Siddhartha Gotama was said to have been born in what is now modern day Nepal. He later came to be known as Buddha. So his teaching was based around rediscovering your nature, which is non-self nature. His life and teachings came to inspire Buddhism, one of the most influential religions to come out of Asia. Two of his notable concepts include the Four Noble Truths and the Eightfold Path, both of which are meant to help the mind and body. Known for his simple lifestyle and focus on meditation, the religious leader also inspired many sacred texts, including the Tipitaka. The long-standing tradition that originates from Gotama has hundreds of millions of followers to its name. Thus Bodhisattvas live in perfect understanding with no hindrance of mind. Number three, Albert Einstein. If you've ever been called Einstein, somebody probably thinks you're pretty smart. This is because Albert Einstein might as well be the most famous scientific mind of the last century. So here we are, huh? lost in your quantum world of probabilities and needing certain. In his theory of relativity, the scientist established himself as a leading mind of the 20th century. He also popularized one of the more important formulas in the history of physics. Somehow he's able to focus on his theory with an incredible intensity. And he makes his breakthrough. The Nobel Prize winner's innovations in a variety of scientific fields had an unprecedented effect on modern science. At the dawn of the nuclear age, his incredible work signaled a new era for scientific thought. When Einstein died in 1955, age 76, his theory was seen as one with little hope of future discovery. Number two, Muhammad. God has given his prophets the sign of miracles that we may recognize them. The miracle of Muhammad is the Holy Quran. 
As the man responsible for a leading world religion, Muhammad is a sacred figure to Muslims around the globe. In the 7th century CE, the leader started his ministry after receiving what is known traditionally as his first revelation from God. His work helped to transform Islam from a small group into a significant presence in the Arabic world. He becomes and is in many ways, the heart of what a prophet is. The prophet's teachings came to encompass the Quran, the holiest text in Islam. Once he built up a massive following, Muhammad and his followers completed a conquest of Mecca. He ultimately laid the groundwork for a religious movement that now has over a billion people worldwide. Following the founder's death, the faith split into Shia and Sunni sects that each developed their own traditions. This is the defining moment in Muhammad's life. And today, for the one and a half billion people all around the world who follow him, completely accepting his revelation defines what it means to be a Muslim. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Zoroaster, founding Zoroastrianism, the prophet developed the groundbreaking monotheistic religion. Saint Paul. As a prolific writer, Paul played an important part in disseminating early Christian teachings. Margaret Thatcher, the United Kingdom's first female prime minister, a leader in conservative politics. On economic and monetary union, I stress that we would be ready to move beyond the present position to the creation of a European monetary fund. Genghis Khan. The Mongol ruler built a fearsome empire that was the largest of its kind. After fighting his way across Asia, the city stood before him. Benjamin Franklin. This founding father of America was an important diplomat, inventor, and writer. Never in my life has anything so totally engrossed me. While well, with making experiments and then repeating them for my friends and acquaintances who come in crowds to see them. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Jesus Christ He had formed his own small movement and been revealed to his closest disciples as the Son of God. According to tradition, Jesus of Nazareth emerged as a religious prophet who took 12 apostles, preached around the Middle East, and was later crucified for his teachings. His story in the New Testament recounts everything from his ability to work miracles to his lessons, including the Beatitudes. Jesus Christ and the writings surrounding him eventually inspired the biggest religion in the world. You think God belongs only to you? He doesn't. God's an immortal spirit who belongs to everybody! It's also hard to overestimate his influence on Western culture. With the growth of the Christian church, the religious leader continued to inspire everything from politics to artwork. When you factor in the various Christian denominations, there's an endless amount of influence that his work has had on billions of people. After a life of wandering through the hills and villages of Galilee and Judea, preaching and healing, Jesus was betrayed, arrested, and brutally put to death. Did we forget another important figure in history? Let us know in the comments below. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.